Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Bardic Chapter 2. So I just defeated the Lake Hag. This, one, this looks like one of those fancy transporters used by lazy people for getting out of dungeons in a heartbeat. If you step into it, you'll be warped to the entrance of the cave. Step into it. You feel the world swirl around you. Now, what about that temple entrance? Can I go in there now? Nope. Oh, it might be some interesting. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. But, 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 blah, blah, blah. Don't care. Swim to surface. This, somehow, despite the fact that you are all wearing heavy metal armor, you managed to swim to the surface and climb up the slippery wooden side of the slippery wooden pier. Nice. Ah, you did good, Sebastian. You did good. Um, well, we defeated the lake hag. But my parents, they're still statues. The curse didn't fade. That's bad. Because if it didn't, then I don't think there was anything we can do. These sort of curses are the types that can't be dispelled by regular magic. In fact, your parents' souls most likely have already left their bodies. I'm so sorry. But, mommy, daddy, what do I do now? <laughs> Would you, um, you're good people. You killed the lake hag. Um, can I, can I come with you? Well, I don't see any harm in it. No, Mardik, she can't come with us. I mean, it's greatly unfortunate that her parents are gone, and there's nothing we can do about it, but if she came along, it'd be more dangerous for her, and she'd be a burden to us. I mean, she's just a young girl. Whoever heard of a little girl fighting monsters or traveling around adventurous anyway? That's just ridiculous. But I've got nowhere to go. <laughs> You're from Canonia, right? Don't you have any friends in the village? Yeah, I suppose. If you went to them, I'm sure they understand and look after you much better than we could. Adventuring isn't some something for a young girl like yourself you should do. You could get killed and you've so much to live for. I... I understand. <laughs> I'll go to one of my friends' houses. So I'm... Facebook it in the lake hag, at least nobody else will die. Like my mommy and daddy. <laughs> Wait though, what are your names? Well, I'm Mardik, this is Dugan, and Emil. Mardik. Mardik, I'll remember that. But um, bye now I suppose. Maybe we should go and see her in the village later to see how she's doing. Yeah, that girl's parents just died. I can't even begin to imagine how horrible that'd be. She'd feel all alone with nobody who really understands her to look after her. I hope she turns out okay. Well, me too. Come on, though. We need to go Canonia for ourselves. So now, so let's go. Okay. That's good. Canonia. Greetings and well met there, friends. You look like soldiers. Were you sent because of the monsters and things that seem to have become unusually active? And the missing shaman, eh? Well, yes, that's exactly why we're here. How'd you guess? I'm here for the same thing, you see. I knew they'd send soldiers. I'm sorry, though, you're not needed. You can go home. I'll be handling this. No need for petty soldiers to get involved. Petty soldiers? the bloody hell do you think you are, mate? I am that, El Ganobie, a paladin of your lord. My mission is to aid those in need of it, and I came here to, on the winds to help these people in distress. You came on the winds? Well, not literally, but you know what I mean. 
No, I don't. Anyway, you soldiers won't be necessary. I'm quite capable of handling this, my handling this myself. And I, and I said this already, so go home. And what makes you so sure that you won't be overwhelmed by something you're not expecting? You seem like the sort of chap who works alone, so how you'll be able to handle that? Why, I'll pray to the Lord for assistance, of course. And that'll help, will it? Has he ever directly helped before? Ever sapped your foes with green lightning or anything? Not... Not in so many words, no, but your lord does assist me. Just... Just not in such a vulgar ways. He's much more subtle. He gives me support, not lightning bolts. Sure, if you say so. Anyway, silence. You're just soldiers. Godless heathen soldiers, too. Probably you wouldn't understand. I suggest you all go home and play with your toys and pray to your lord for, to forgive you for not worshipping him while I do what needs to be done here. Adios! Hmm. Whoa. Well, you be dead within the hour. But Emma, this is your hometown, eh? Maybe we should go and say hello to your friend, parents, or maybe your friends. <laughs> my parents moved away a while ago, probably so they don't live here anymore. And um, all my friends moved away too, just like I did. So nobody knows. So nobody I know lives here, lives here anymore. Okay. How about we go back to your old house anyway? I'd like to see where you grew up. It'd be interesting. Um, uh, I, um, it's probably been knocked down or something, but hey, we should go back to, we should go to the barracks and see the guard captain there. Yeah, let's go and do our mission. Come on. Right. Oh, a pub. Nice. See that guy at the bar? That's Sack, a mercenary. I've heard that he's slit your throat and pay you a copper. Okay. I can't be bothered serving you now. Get out of my bleeding face. Hmm. Hello. What? Well, I said hello. How's things? Psh. You don't talk much, do you? No. Oh. Well, who are you? A mercenary. A mercenary? Does that mean that you hide to kill people for a living? Basically. If, we're to, if we were to offer you money, would you fight with us? 1,000 generic gold coins. I'll sell for that, no less. Mm. Well, here you go. No, I'm not paying that. Here you go. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I guess. <laughs> Did my sword is yours to command. Well, since we're friends now, can you tell us a bit about yourself? No, and we're not friends. Let's go. Well, okay. Isn't it so ironic that we just hired a cold-blooded killer to help fight us despite all the talk of how killing is wrong? Like we were doing earlier? Just... I guess. Jeez. Now I don't have any money, though. Sad. Oh, swords. <laughs> sell that. Um, some of that. Some of that. And some of that. Yes, that's it. Alright, folks. Um, I guess this is it. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. And tune into the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.